about this. I, I think you're absolutely right on that one, Scott. It is time for our very favorite part of the show, Disgrace of the Week. As always, Miss Cahoon, please start us off. Well, we are marking the start, the real start of the election season with the caucuses next week. Good for everyone who wants to participate in them. Bad for the candidates who are already starting to play dirty with some of their advertising. <laughs> that was probably the <laughs> nicest way you could describe that advertisement, so. Patty. <laughs> David. The uh, beginning of what may be World War III uh, prompted that, that very night, I think, two, two thoughtful responses from the Colorado congressional delegation. Senator Bennett said we should impose the strictest sanctions possible against uh, the Russian dictatorship, and Representative Boebert said we should start moving immediately towards independence and using all of our domestic resources, both for ourselves and for export to our allies. Scott, your disgrace of the week. Uh, another state, Governor Abbott down in Texas, his attack on people for who they are, whether they're uh, transgendered um, or uh, basis of, of race and education, uh, there's so much disgrace there. Um, we need another show. <laughs> <laughs> Bree. Douglas County School District, the circus over there that does not stop. Closed door meetings, ousting of their superintendent who was well loved, these late Friday night, get your popcorn, watch the school board <laughs> meetings. I mean, just, I'm, done, I'm over it. Usually folks go to Masterpiece Theater for drama, but they've just been tuning just, in for Douglas County <laughs> School Boards for drama these days. The time for the hardest part of the show to say something nice about somebody. Patty. Well, and I'm going to say something mean again about Douglas County because they've got a court hearing at 1.30 right as we're taping this. So we don't know what will happen with that on a motion for summary judgment. But I'm going to the poor people of Silverton. Bless their hearts who are cut off by another avalanche. Really, you learn how to be independent in Colorado. Four feet of snow in Silverton. It's like the scene in The Shining, except it's not a Hollywood set. It's for real. David. The Colorado State University men's basketball team, which is getting very close to uh, uh, joining the uh, the March Madness tournament. A lot, of, a lot of buffs in the family, so I will echo those. Scott. Um, I want to say thank you to Senator Leroy Garcia for his service as Senate President as he moves off to the Department of Defense. And welcome to Senator Steve Fenberg. Big job um, in the Senate, and I'm sure he's going to do a great one. Bree. Uh, Kyle Clark at Nine News for using his huge platform, very mainstream platform, to talk about harm reduction um, with the fentanyl deaths in Commerce City. He took time to talk about why he carries the overdose reversal drug Narcan, and I thought that was an incredible thing for him to do with a platform as large as his. It certainly began a conversation about something I think not a lot of people would realize Absolutely. they could actually be a part of. And I will continue to say something nice as I want to give a, a quick shout out to uh, Chris and Kathy Schmidt. They hosted a, a little get together for us that hosted that welcomed, officially welcomed our new general manager, Kristen Blessman, uh, just yesterday. It was a wonderful event. And it was great to uh, have people there. And it's nice to be able to meet in three dimensions, which was a, a very nice treat. I also want to remind everybody about the services that your membership at PBS 12 made possible. DW News is available on basically every platform we have. If you go to pbs12.org, 24-7 coverage and their live coverage of what's going on in Ukraine is available right there on the website. 12.3 is 24-7 and available for free over the air, also everything on cable. And of course, you can watch DW News every weekday here at 4.30, at 10 o'clock. Just a lot of different ways that we are happy to bring a global views to you. And all of these services have been made possible through your membership. So when you figure out your, you, you, whether it's pledging, whether it's uh, Susie Orman or some of our great music shows, or you're buying a ticket to one of our Red Rocks concerts, or anything in between, what do you make possible? Not only, uh, uh, I will humbly say, local programs here like Colorado Inside Out, but you're also making these kind of great services possible. And if you want to keep up with what's going on in Asia, because frankly, that's not as, that is, it's not as if that news is going away, NHK World Japan is available 24-7, both on our website and on 12.4. All of these are cable channels, if you're watching on cable, all these are online, if you watch on the computer, whatever it is, we're here for you. That is all time we have for this episode of Colorado Inside Out. For everybody here at PBS 12 and Colorado Inside Out, I'm Dominic Dizzuti. Thanks for watching. Good night.